so a couple videos ago I mentioned to you that I had a psychic reading done recently and I asked you guys if you would want a video of me going more in depth about my reading because my friend Alex or Adubs just did a video like that and I got such a positive response from you guys saying you would love to see that so this is going to be my psychic experience now before I get into this video super quick I just wanted to say I have had psychic readings done before this wasn't my first time and I definitely like to do my research when I'm going anywhere so I put into Yelp like psychic readings because Alex wanted to go and get one when she was here and we went to a close place that the lady had all five star like full star ratings so I definitely tried to go to like more legitimate places it's completely up to you if you want to you know believe in psychics and all of that kind of stuff I personally have really liked the readings that I've had done before so I always like going to get readings like occasionally it's just something that's fun for me so interesting and I really have had stuff told to me that isn't so general and I'm excited to tell you guys a lot of what she told me first of all there was a couple different types of readings but we got tarot card readings it was the more expensive reading but you got to have her just tell you about your past present and future really really in detail and then also um, you could ask questions at the end to her it was the longest and most detailed reading I've ever had I think she talked to all of us for at least 20 to 25 minutes one of the first things she told me was that I am a giver and that I give too much of myself to people and that I need to stop doing that so much with people who don't deserve it. Probably the most interesting part of my reading is she told me about my future marriage and like children. <laughs> I've never had a psychic tell me anything like that. She was like, boys in the past that you've been with, like they don't get you. She literally said guys don't get you. And she told me that this fall <laughs> I am going to meet the one like the special one she told me that he is going to be the one that I marry and that I'm gonna get married within four years which is insane I told her I looked at her and I was like I don't want to get married. That marriage and children is so far away that I can't even fathom thinking about that kind of stuff right now. And she's like, nope, like you're gonna find the one and he's gonna be the one that you marry. So I don't know guys, I'm not basing my life around it or anything, but it was really, really cool to hear. She didn't tell something like that to all of us. So that was cool. She also <laughs> told me that I am going to have one child when I am married with my husband and that it is going to be a boy and that'll be the only kid that I have so that was also really interesting to hear because uh, I'm definitely not the type that wants a lot of kids at all I didn't even know if I want kids like in general but I guess I'm having you know one boy according to her and maybe that's completely crazy and out there but that is what I was told and it was just interesting information to hear so we will see we will see waiting around for this fall she told me that i would succeed in the medical field which is interesting because i've never really considered that at all i used to want to be a neonatal nurse but i guess you know maybe later in life or something i could possibly head in that direction she said that i am going to move this year and that i'm going to be very very happy with where I'm moving like there's gonna be big changes in my uh, you know like home sector of my life or whatever and that's definitely true because we Megan and I's lease is gonna be up um, like early this summer we are planning on moving and there's kind of like a big uh, plan with all of that that will you know hopefully turn out and everything but that is that de it's definitely in the plans to move to a house this year that was cool to hear that she said that we would be really really happy with it she mentioned to me that something that I had been doing for a while was coming to a close and that it was almost done and then I was like oh well, I'm in school right now and she was like yep you're finishing school and you're really happy about it and you're going to be so like happy when you're done and just like basically just thought I'm gonna be finishing school and feeling feeling good about life she told me that she really really saw that there was a female that some like negative person that's a girl is going to try and come back into my life and I shouldn't let them because they're not good for me and they're not gonna like benefit me and I really kind of think of who it was because all of my girlfriends are just so like 
not like that at all. She's gonna tell you like the good and the bad, like she gave me a few warnings about things. Something she told me that I really kind of understood was that the universe is bringing good and bad people into my life like at all times and that that's just kind of happening to me because I'm young and it's showing me that I shouldn't be you know so naive and think that everyone is a good person and that everyone is good for me. Well, I think that some people are, you know, like have great intentions and are really good for me, they might turn out to be not and that's just like a lesson that the universe is kind of teaching me and a part of being young which makes sense when I think about certain people that I've gotten close with. So obviously I told you that she said that this fall that I was going to meet the one and so I asked her, I was like, so like what should I do until the fall time? And she was like, you know, just have fun. Like I definitely think you're gonna be kind of like dating people and like seeing people a little bit, but like that nothing is going to be serious until the fall when I meet the one. So have you heard, like, I'm meeting my husband this fall. <laughs> have you heard? She told me that in April of this year is when I'm gonna start traveling like a ton and just kind of like living more freely. She told me that I was gonna travel a lot this year, that I was really gonna like focus this year on finding myself. And I think that's really cool. She said I might travel alone. And it's also interesting that she said April because that is, you know, when I'll be done with school and when I'll be able to do, you know, some more traveling. And then she said that at like the end of this year that my family ties, I'll be like really, really bonded to my family and feel really close to my family. So yeah, those are the main things. She did tell me some other things that are like, I don't know, a bit more personal or just that don't really make sense to like, talk about I guess because they involve like a lot of explaining but she gave me a really really in-depth reading like this isn't all that she told me I think it's a cool experience like if it's something that you're interested in type in Yelp just like psychic psychic readings and just find like a four or five star place like near you and go and see how it is you know what I mean like if you want to do it I definitely plan on getting more readings I've gotten palm readings I've gotten tarot card readings maybe like one other type of reading I don't know but this is the best reading that I've ever had in the longest as I told you guys let me know your thoughts like <laughs> I'm obviously not basing my life and my year around any of this stuff but she also talks about stuff that I didn't really talk about from like my past and present that's going on like right now that I really think it's cool that she can just pick up off of this was the first time I ever met this woman she didn't ask me a ton of questions like it was just literally like a sitting down like she tells you what she feels. That is my psychic experience video. Brainstorming this video and like doing this video made me think of I could do other videos that are like my blank experience type videos and I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking of doing a Tinder experience video. Yes, I use Tinder. Um, if you want to see that, give this video a big thumbs up and I can do that like very soon for you guys. Because honestly, I think that would just be a really fun video to do because I definitely have a lot to say. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, if you're not subscribed, I would love if you would go ahead and click that red subscribe button. And also, here is my last video if you missed it.